What if SharePoint Search could crawl content outside of SharePoint? Things like Teams chats, Outlook messages, maybe even Microsoft Planner. Now, what if you could search for that same information, not just within SharePoint, but within the other Microsoft applications as well? What would you even call this supercharged search experience? Well, Microsoft calls it Microsoft Search, and that's what we're covering in this video. So let's go over the overview and the benefits of what Microsoft Search is and how you can use it to build a better search experience for you and your organization. And I already know your first question, Steve, why do we even have this if we've got SharePoint Search? Isn't that what we want? Well, Microsoft Search is going to be better for you and here's why. So Microsoft Search, as I've mentioned before, searches outside of SharePoint. In fact, it searches all of your data within Microsoft 365. It also will customize the results for what you need based on what you've worked on, who you've worked with. So for instance, maybe you're searching on files. Well, when you search for specific files, it's going to show you the list of those search results but the things that you've accessed more recently, for instance, will be closer to the top of that list. All of your activity within the Microsoft 365 world is tracked and the Microsoft Graph knows who you work with the most and what files you've worked with recently, things like that. And all of that is used to cater to that search experience so that you can find what you need faster. And since the Microsoft Graph is not a SharePoint specific thing, but it's an M365 thing, this same search technology is available in all of these different applications. Now, one important thing to note is that just like with SharePoint Search, all of the search results are gonna be security trimmed. So if it's uh, something you don't have access to, it's not gonna even show up in those results. The same with some of the additional features like acronyms, bookmarks, and some other things. If they're pointing to something that you don't have access to, you'll never know it was there. Now, you're not going to just throw away your SharePoint search knowledge of managed properties and all that. In fact, it's going to use a lot of those same features, especially managed properties. All the managed properties you've defined in the search schema are still going to be available in Microsoft Search because it does leverage a lot of those key components from SharePoint Search, but it also adds a whole lot more in Microsoft Search. And this is in a whole new area of the Admin Center, and it's not even in the SharePoint Admin Center. This is gonna be in the Microsoft 365 Admin Center, and you're gonna be looking for the Search and Intelligence Center. That's where Microsoft Search is gonna be configured. I'm gonna be covering all of these features in upcoming videos, but to give you an overview of what things you can do with Microsoft Search, to start with, you have got really detailed insights and analytics to what's going on in your search infrastructure. This helps you refine and improve that search experience far beyond what SharePoint Search could do out of the box. There's also some really cool features such as acronyms, bookmarks, locations, and Q&As that you can configure to improve search results and get organization-specific information front and center when someone searches for it. You could also use custom connectors to connect third-party applications to your search index so that users can not just search M365 content, but they could search Salesforce, perhaps all sorts of other different third party apps. And when someone clicks on them, that would take them into the application. And this is something that's far better than what business data connectivity could even do. You could also configure result types and verticals in your search environment so that you could further separate out what users are looking for. And one of the most interesting things that Microsoft has done is they brought this search information outside of Microsoft application and into Bing. So you can search on Bing and if you're logged in with your enterprise account, it will show you search results from your organization data, but also Bing and it's all presented in one interface. So you could be searching the web essentially, and it will know that you have data that matches that criteria and surface it towards the top. And Microsoft's also made a lot of this configuration easier to keep up with, to manage your users' expectations by providing feedback mechanisms so that users can submit ideas for things that needed to be added to your search configuration. I'll cover that in a future video. So if you're not subscribed, please subscribe and turn that notification bell on so that you can see all of the upcoming videos that are coming out about this great product. And if you need to catch up on SharePoint Search and things like Managed Properties so that you can get ahead of the game on Microsoft Search, click this playlist to get started.